Hey guys, what's up? All About Ultimate Team is back and today we're gonna talk about Team of the Season Boya Valero. He is CM, he is from Spain and he plays for Fiorentina. You'll find his in-game stats in the description and here you can see our squad which we used while playing with him. Okay, um, the first thing to notice about him is his low pace. Um, only 67, yeah, that's that's not really much. And yeah, it's, it's just a little debilitating for him. Um, because, yeah, it's, we noticed right away that he is losing many running duels to most of the other fast strikers. But his 86 dribbling compensates his slowness a little. Yeah, you're, you're just able to control the ball very tightly and you can turn around or yeah, spin easily to get yourself some space to pass or yeah, just maintain the possession of the ball. His shooting is very nice but because of his only medium offensive work rate he isn't always in the position to shoot, but if you do get in position, his shots are awesome. His 89 passing is the highest number on the card, and yeah, we, we can absolutely confirm that. His playmaking is really good, we had many many assists with him, his passing, yeah, it's, it's, it's perfect. Long passes, short passes, deep passes, it, it doesn't matter. He always, he always did a really good job. But um, we, we think um, you're better off if you use him as CDM. <coughs> On his card it only says 72 defending and his defensive work rate is only medium. But it felt like his defensive pos and positional play is clearly better than that. You'll see uh, in the footage many interceptions and yeah, just how he wins many defensive tackles. And yeah, that's where we think um, you can use his awesome passing best. Uh, just get the ball with him and initialize nice plays or nice counter attacks. He did a really good job doing that. Although he is, all in all, a very nice player, his heading skills suck so bad. Uh, on the card it only says 66 and he is also very small. So yeah, it's just um, during the time we played with him, Valero didn't win a single heading duel. It's, it's almost unbelievable. Offensively or defensively, not a single heading duel won. It, yeah, it was it was just annoying. But um, yeah, of course, the question is: Does a CM need to have good heading skills? Yeah, Valero has many other advantages. So uh, to sum it up real quick for you, here are our pros and cons, just as usual. So the first pro is of course it's a blue card it looks really nice another pro is his awesome playmaking and great tackling and also very nice are his great long shots if you get a chance to shoot with him and yeah we think the best thing about him, him is that he's from Spain and plays in the Serie A and you can put him in one team with Chiellini and Sergio Ramos for example. Yeah, and the last pro is, as mentioned in the beginning, his really nice and tight ball control and his fast dribbling. The cons are, his heading skills suck ass, he is pretty unremarkable because of his medium working rates, um, yeah, because in some games we didn't see anything great for him from him. And the last con is that he is relatively slow. So our result is as CDM 
9.5 out of 10 because yeah we used him in a in another formation and yeah just to win the ball and spread it out all over the field that's where he's best so yeah as CM we thought he was too slow and too unremarkable so we only gave him 6 out of 10 the price performance ratio is 6 out of 10 he should be around 50k right now on PS3 alright guys hope we could help you make sure to like comment and subscribe I wish you all a great weekend until next time Peace out.